I'm Olivia De Silva with the Investing News Network, and I'm here to give you your monthly base metals roundup. Over the last month, copper has been in the spotlight for all the right reasons. Ongoing protests at MMG's Las Bambas mine finally came to a stop in early April after over a month of protests blocked transportation to and from the Peruvian mine. In the M&A space, London Mining entered an agreement to buy the Chapada Copper Gold Mine in Brazil from Yamana Gold, a deal that will ultimately cost over $1 billion US dollars. Capping off the month was a major investment from Citic Metal, who contributed $612 million Canadian dollars to Ivanhoe Mines, earning Citic a 29.9% stake in the company. As of April 26, the red metal was trading at $6,392 per tonne on the London Metal Exchange. In iron ore, major miner Rio Tinto reduced its yearly guidance after Cyclone Veronica hit Western Australia, impacting the company's operations in the Pilbara region. Shipments from the area were 14% lower in Q1 versus the same period in 2018, while iron ore production was down 9%. BHP was also affected by the cyclone, and while its operations in Western Australia saw no significant damage, the company's preventative shutdown efforts reduced production by 6 to 8 million tons. As for zinc, Inca Minerals and South 32 executed an earn -in agreement on the former's Riqueza zinc silver lead asset in Peru. Later in the month, Trafigura Group announced that it would be taking control of European zinc smelter Nearstar in an effort to save it from bankruptcy, which also came with a $250 million payout to keep operations afloat. As of April 26, zinc was trading at $2,915 per tonne on the London Metal Exchange. That's everything for this month, but be sure to stay on the loop by checking us out on Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn.